Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is episode 8 of the solo RPG sim playthrough. And as you can see in the background, this is a time lapse of all my farming I did on my own before I recorded this episode because a lot of you guys commented that you wanted to see me do a time lapse of my farming sesh. So anyways, I am level 185 now and I did a whole bunch of farming in between the last episode and this one. So I want to hop into game and I want to show you guys my inventory. So first off, I did get the blazing flare. That is why I went to 185 off camera so I could use it right away. This thing is so good. It's actually our first godly weapon of the series. It gives 650 damage and is fantastic. Also, fun fact, if you're a max level player, you actually can't get drops from the Sun Temple raid. So if you get a blazing flare while leveling up make sure you hold on to it for end game as well because it is a very rare vanity now also got the ring of star destruction got the 700 star pendant you guys saw me get that last episode same with the sun gods fighter chest plate and then i also managed to get the supernova aura while farming which was super lucky and yeah we are totally set right now we have fantastic stats for level 185 and another super exciting thing I want to do before we hop into the next zone is craft our next rune. So we're at 130 shards. We currently have the rune of life. So I'm hoping that we can get one of the other three starting ones. There is the rune of vitality. That isn't I mean, obviously this rune is still very, very bad. So for today's episode, I wanna farm the, uh, where is it? The Laboratory 2 zone until I'm level 200, and then we're gonna do a whole bunch of the Laboratory 1 raid. So I already did do a little bit of this zone off camera, and essentially all I'm gonna be doing is collecting all these mobs. I like to grab a couple, then I like to go into this room over here with the steel bots, I'm gonna run around, Hit them all once, make sure they're all aggroed onto me. After I do this, just mass eliminate and you can watch the XP. I leveled up once from that alone, so this is what I'm gonna be doing until I'm level 200. This is officially the very first episode where the fake Shosko account was actually recognized by one of you guys. <laughs> so now we are level 200, and also at level 200, you unlock the Shatter ability. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my skills for what I want, and then we're gonna hop into the Laboratory 1 raid. First, we're gonna try it on normal, and if normal is very easy, then we'll do it on hardcore. So I was thinking of doing something kind of interesting. I was gonna do Moon Cutters, Shatter, and Calamity for a first try, because on normal mode, they don't do nearly as much damage, so I don't think we're gonna need that Mending Heal. And also I put on the Vitality Rune, because if we're not using Mending, there's no reason to use the Life Rune. I love how a Calamity Shatter just clears an entire room. That is doing so much more damage than I remember it doing. Either I am a lot better than um, I thought I was, or the game is a lot easier than it was when I did this way back when. But it does probably have something to do with the fact that I have every single piece of raid gear that you could get from Sun Temple. Okay, so Vince still is a little bit of a chonker when it comes to health. These two bosses is where I thought I'd struggle, but this is nowhere near as hard as it was back in the day to do it on level. This is actually quite a breeze. Oh, Jesus. The uh, Shatter's cooldown, I forgot how massive it is without any runes on it. It is so huge. The Rune of Vitality here is actually coming in clutch, I'm not going to lie, because he's hitting me so often that he's actually causing uh, me to heal for quite a bit. Ooh, the Calamity Shatter actually does so much. That was fantastic. And, okay, we almost got Vent down. This has been way easier than I thought it would. Let's see if we get a ring. Nope, got a, uh, that's a tack pot if I recall. Anyways, on to Poison Master. So one strategy I recommend you guys do if you're stuck on this on your own account is bring him out to the bigger room back here. It definitely makes it easier because you have more room to constantly backtrack and run away from him. So the Poison Master is a little bit, a little bit more of a chonker than the other one, but so far it's still not, not really an issue at all. I think Moon Cutters and Shatter is definitely the best setup we got going. And yeah, the damage output of this is pretty massive. Calamity plus Shatter is yeah, it's like a solid one-eighth of his entire health. I'm not super sure we could do this on Hardcore. I, I, I think we can maybe do it if we use the Mending and Healing. So I do want to try it after this because on Normal I can tell that this is going to be pretty easy. But all it's going to do is take a while per run. My god, I almost got myself killed there actually. 
I forgot that um, if you get stuck in this poison trap thingy, like when he throws that flask of poison out, if you're really close to him, it's hard to see when he does it, and if it hits you, it does a tremendous amount of damage. Hopefully we get a drop from this. Uh, what's nice about all the early raids is you actually don't need to be on hardcore to get the good drops. You can get them on normal, just a chance it's a lot lower. Uh, when you get to the much later raids, um, like Tartarus and stuff, Nest of the Colossus, you actually have to be on hardcore to get the good gear, so luckily we're not far in the game yet. And there goes Poison Master. We got literally nothing for that, but we did level up quite a bit, so I'm going to return home. I don't want to do it on normal. That only took us three minutes. We can definitely try this on hardcore. And what is nice about finally being on a raid like Laboratory 1 is we're finally in an actual challenge and there's, you know, an actual amount of length to the raid. It's not just killing a boss. So I decided to switch back to the life rune. I'm utilizing Mending, Moon Cutters, and Calamity, my go-to setup for hard uh, raids to solo. So let's see how this goes. I know all the mobs in here get a tremendous one tap one tap i did not remember them being able to literally one tap you like that on hardcore okay apparently not y'all we're not doing that thing on hardcore that is not happening not this episode let's get back to it on normal try to get some of the gear if we get some of the gear then i'm sure we could definitely do it on hardcore oh god Ugh, i accidentally loaded into it with all of my healing stuff i don't need to heal on normal normal's easy <laughs> Did he just go straight through my moon cutters? It, it looked like his teleport went straight through my moon cutters. So I do think the mending rune is a little bit better than the vitality rune. It's just the only problem is I don't really want this healing. I want more damage. So I guess the extra damage on the mending sword is useful, but I don't know. I do think I should have gone for a more offensive setup than something like this. And please give me your ring. Oh, well, nothing. But at least every single time we kill him, we seem to level up at least two or three times. So fantastic XP from here. That's still the same as it was in the past. All right, Mr. Poison Master, you, you, my friend, should be nice to me. Vint isn't being very nice. Also, I hate to break it to you, but Vint does betray you in the future, Mr. Poison Master. And then he also becomes more powerful and has a better raid than you. How do you feel about that? I cannot wait for the next raid to come out. I cannot wait to do another challenge like that on my max account. Ow, ow, god, that purple puddle thing you keep doing hurts so bad. Please, no. Oh, we almost just died. I hate that poison trap thing he keeps doing. Wow, okay, thanks game. We just got the foresight hammer, which we can already use. Is that an upgrade? Yes, that's an upgrade. That's funny. I didn't think we were going to get something better than that this episode. This run, I do predict, will be our fastest by far. We have way better damage output now. Havoc is going to help a lot. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do hardcore this episode. So I do think by next episode, we'll be doing this lab on hardcore. So once he starts to hurt, that's when I'll activate Havoc. Actually, you know what? No, I'll just activate it right now. Perfect. Let's see how much more damage we do to him. So far, we might actually be taking too much damage for this to be viable. Yeah, this might turn out to be a viable strategy because every time we actually use it, we hurt ourselves quite a bit. So I'm going to have to let our pet hella, uh, heal us. And I might not actually be able to pop havoc at all without dying. All right, Mr. Poison Master, time to finish you off too. With the Poison Master being slower, Havoc is going to be fantastic here. Uh, the only problem with Vint and Havoc seemed to be that he was way too fast, and since he gets so close to you, he just hurts. So, yeah, overall, I don't think Havoc is really the way to go, but we can definitely finish the run with it. I, I realize I'm being so stupid. I'm using Vitality with Havoc, which you're not supposed to do, because every time you hit, Vitality heals you, and Havoc doesn't like that, so... That is, that was not a good choice on my end. <laughs> there, uh, Poison Master finally dies. I'm gonna end the episode off here. Next episode, I'm gonna be doing the Laboratory one on Hardcore, and I'm gonna try to get some gear off camera in between so I can actually do it then. Thanks for watching my video, and I will see you all later this week with more content. Bye.